What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. I know a lot of you have been pretty upset. That white chocolate cookies and cream and a bar just did not last long. This one sold out in about 72 hours, which we should have a restock coming of all Anna bars, hopefully within the next couple weeks. So stay tuned. But for now, those of you that missed out on our best flavor, I'm gonna let you guys get a little taste of the deliciousness of the white chocolate and the Oreo right in your own kitchen. So if you missed out on this, don't worry. Remy's got you covered. In today's video, we'll be making anabolic white chocolate Oreo oatmeal. Everything you love about delicious Oreo cookies and white chocolate fused into a high protein dessert. If you've been wanting a white chocolate cookies and cream and a bar, but that dial up connection just wasn't fast enough to secure a box, then look no further than this video, cause I'm telling you, it just might change your life. No more boring diets, no more bland meals. If you want the ultimate guide in your pocket, the RJF anabolic cookbook, link down below in my description. Every single recipe on my channel, broken down and easy to use guide, and you get it one time, you get every future update I have for free. So if other diets haven't worked for you in the past, man, maybe this will be the one that finally gets you over the finish line. All right, baby, if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! All right, baby, let's get this show started. First off, we need 40 grams of old-fashioned oats in a bowl. Now keep in mind, if you've had oatmeal before and you're like, Ram, I don't like it, I'm gonna show you the best way to make oatmeal right here in this video. So give it a shot if you're on the fence. Regain your balance and pay attention because it's about to get hot. Let's go. First thing we wanna do is take 224 grams of water or one cup, pour it in a medium saucepan. And we're just gonna bring this sucker to a boil. And once that water's boiling, take your oats, pour them in, spread them out, submerge them with your spoon, and then reduce that heat to medium and let them simmer for about four minutes. And after that four minutes, you'll see it's absorbed a lot of the water, the texture's a lot nicer. And what we're gonna do at this point is add in a gram of cinnamon and a gram of zero calorie sweetener. Give it a nice stir, then we'll let it sit and do its thing for about 30 to 60 more seconds, and then our oatmeal will be good. And once our oatmeal is done, I'm gonna toss it down in a mixing bowl. And once it's all in here, I'm gonna add in 170 grams of fat-free vanilla Greek yogurt. You can use plain Greek yogurt if you want, but I think that vanilla flavor in this one really helps the recipe out. And then on top of that, we're gonna add in 31 grams of a vanilla-based whey protein powder. I'm using that Final Boss Cinnamon Toast Swirl. Because once you go swirl, you'll never have a problem finding a girl or a man. And then lastly, to really make that cookies and cream Oreo flavor pop, we're gonna toss in 10 grams of cookies and cream Oreo instant pudding mix. Just watch that scale and weigh her out. And then once all your ingredients are in here, go in, stir everything together until it's fully combined and looking good. And then once everything is all mixed up, you can transfer it to a serving bowl. And obviously if you want, you can literally mix everything up in the same bowl you're gonna eat it out of, but I'm on YouTube. I gotta make a good looking thumbnail. So if you made it this far into the video, hit that thumbs up button for me, baby. This is the effort we're putting in around here. And at this point, you could eat this bowl of oatmeal and it would be incredible. But if you're trying to take a picture for the gram and impress all your friends with this awesome diet you're on, you gotta add a little something, something to it. So what we have here to do a little decorating is Oreo thins and some Ghirardelli white chocolate chips along with some fat-free whipped cream. Let me show you how this is gonna go down. I'm gonna start by doing a little fat-free ready whip right here in the middle and I've weighed out eight grams of white chocolate chips, 15 grams or two of our Oreo thins and what I'll do is decorate with the white chocolate chips, go in around the outside, make it look pretty. I mean you can just toss them in if you're eating it but you know thumbnail, maybe throw one in the whipped cream, why not? And then finally I'll just take my Oreo, break it up into tiny little pieces and use that as decoration as well. Oh man, would you get a look at that. If you would shove this in your mouth, comment below, 10 out of 10 would smash. Normally oatmeal is a food that I avoid like the plague. I ate way too much of it back in the day. And it's what horses eat. Well, little did I know that we'd be turning old fashioned oatmeal into a dessert. Seriously, folks, that's gorgeous. If you made it this far into the video, hit that thumbs up button for me, man, means the world. Comment anything down below. Algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. Hit that subscription button because we got tons of great videos coming. And guys, before I lose complete self-control, and go face first into this. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feedback, and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. 
Oh, it's time, baby. Woo. Now first, I know some of y'all are upset, man. We are completely out of the white chocolate cookies and cream, man. Y'all just bought it up. Pretty insane, actually. We ended up doubling our initial inventory for the launch because we wanted to have some for a few months and uh, we just sold completely out, which is insane. You guys showed up and I know some people have some issues with shipping and to be completely honest, that is my bad. We just didn't, I didn't expect this. I didn't expect you guys to show up and to order like you did, man. We hired two additional employees at our warehouse to help fulfill these orders. And by now y'all should have all your bars. Everybody should have them, but I know at the beginning it was rocky and uh, that's my bad, man. That's a learning experience, you know? Like I can sit here and make all these excuses and try to blame other people, but I have to take blame for it. So that's my bad and I guarantee, um, you know, moving forward, we're never gonna have this issue again. You can let the mistakes in life defeat you or you can learn from them and get better. And I think as long as you do that, when you slip, you get back up, you make the adjustments, you're only gonna improve. So for anybody that places an order for these, funnelbossformance.com, code RGF10, saves you 10%. We have the shipping figured out now. So appreciate the support on the Anna bars and the protein too, man. Y'all are killing this as well. So best on the market, bud. So now for those of you that didn't get the bars and you're upset, make this, cause it's gonna make up for it, I promise. So let me get in here. Let me just get a nice bite, man. You gotta think, we got our Oreo cookies and cream flavored oatmeal. We got the little chunks of the Oreo thins. We got white chocolate chips. Oh my God. I mean, just look at that, man. Does that look like ice cream or what? Ooh, three, two, one, let go. This has no right to be this dang good. Wow, seriously, man, oatmeal gets a bad rap. Cause a lot of people microwave it. They don't even cook it. They just mix things up with it. But when you do it this way and your oatmeal's soft and you get that flavor baked into it, the texture, everything. Ooh, and the fact that we use the vanilla Greek yogurt instead of the plain, it's got just a few more calories. But what it does to bring all these flavors together is un freaking real. Cause the oatmeal base by itself is great, but you get that little bit of Oreo crunch in there. And every now and again, you find a white chocolate chip and uh, it's like finding gold. It's like scanning a beach with a metal detector and that thing starts beeping. You find out it was a pirate's lost treasure filled with doubloons. You're now a rich man. You're retiring. Buying that jet ski you always wanted. <laughs> That's what this is like. And if you make this, I recommend the Oreo thins over the regular Oreos because regular Oreos have a lot more of that cream in the middle. You want more cookie, more volume, more of the crunchy stuff. Get the thins. They're better for you. Holy cow. Holy cow. Now, M, this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, which you end up with for the whole thing is only 529 calories, 9 grams of fat, 47 grams of protein, 65 grams of carbs, eight grams of fiber. 529 calories for me, perfect. Keep in mind, you drop the Oreos and you drop the white chocolate, you're gonna cut those calories down quite a bit. That base bowl of oatmeal is still loaded with flavor and incredible. Or what I recommend with any of the recipes on this channel, a lot of times a female watching needs a smaller serving size in general. That ain't sexist, that's just true. So all you gotta do is take the ingredients that I listed, right? Listen to this, divide all of them by two. You're gonna make a half serving that way. Then you take the calories and the macros, you divide them by two, right? Or you make the whole recipe and you split it in into two portions. Get what I'm saying? So I always preach, man, the flexibility of a lot of these recipes is there. A lot of times when I'm making one of my bigger recipes, I'll get in the MyFitnessPal app right on my phone. I'm only eating half of it. I just go to serving size in my phone, set it to half. Bingo. We're in there like swimwear. But whatever way you end up making this recipe, regardless, half serving, full serving, a triple batch, you're gonna love it, man. This, uh, this has no right <laughs> to be this good. <laughs> Seriously, I've never made oatmeal this good in my life. Mm. Ooh, and we are down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. As far as recipes go, this gets a 10 out of 10. You got that oatmeal in there, it's gonna fill you up. You got the sweetness of the Greek yogurt. We got that Oreo flavor baked in. We got actual Oreos, white chocolate chips. I mean, everything about this hits every nail on the head. You got the fiber, your full high protein filling. I mean, 10 out of 10, you gotta try this. If you make it, tag me on Instagram. If you tag me in a post, I don't always see the post. You can do it. I know some of y'all, I go and I show love when I do see it, but if you really want me to be able to see it, tag me on your story. There's a way better chance of me seeing it that way. But regardless, make it, do what you gotta do. I know you're gonna love it, for real. You already know, baby, if you got the RGF Anabolic Cookbook, it has been updated. So this recipe is now in there, step-by-step -step instructions. What you gotta weigh out, the cook times, the macros, calories, and everything else you need. So yeah, go get your updated copy, because you get it once, you get every future recipe I have for free. Man, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Kinda like that treasure chest full of pirate doubloons. <laughs> you know the currency exchange on those these days is wild. Each doubloon's worth a Bitcoin. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here, man. I'm feeling goofy, that was great. Smash the thumbs up, comment anything down below. Appreciate you guys, as always, subscribe, and and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. We out of here, baby. We still got some cleaning up to do, though. Mm, wow.